You know the problem, you've just been out on a trip and shooting a lot of good content. You're really happy with the footage, but you shot everything horizontal because it's for a YouTube video. Well, worry no more, because in today's video I'm going to show you three ways you can utilize your horizontal footage for vertical videos for Instagram and TikTok. So, let's just get into it. This is the most straightforward and easiest technique to use. You basically just take your footage and crop it into a 9x16 that Instagram and TikTok uses. But let's go into DaVinci so I can actually show you how easy it is. So I would recommend having a shot that is kind of wide. For doing this, if you have it too tight, then it's probably gonna look really weird and it's not gonna work that well. But I have chosen this clip here. And you can see my timeline here, I have two big black bars and then I have the footage in here. The thing you want to do is you go into zoom up here, click on it, and I found that 3.2 is the best crop. And what you can do now is you can change the X position, because that is just from the side to the side, to your liking. And I think I would like it here, because then you still have some of the volcano and then you have the person here. But you can really change the Y position, because that is gonna make some black bars in the bottom and the top. So we're gonna change that to zero again. And that is basically it. You will of course have to add some music uh, to it so it, it's more fitting for Instagram and, and TikTok, but that is basically it. So now we're gonna start doing technique number two. And this one is also a really easy one. It is just rotating your footage 90 degrees. And let me just show you how to do it the easy way. You go up to the transform again, you find the rotation angle, and I like it nine, minus nine degrees, because if you do 90, uh, it turns the other way around, but minus nine degree is more natural for you if you have your phone to actually rotate it. And then you have to change the zoom to two times. And then you see that now it fits nine by 16 perfectly. The only reason that this don't work sometimes is because the viewer has to do something which is not something that Instagram and TikTok is pushing out. They just want the viewer to be able to just scroll and not do anything. But I have seen a lot of these videos do really well because it is not the biggest thing to just rotate your phone to the left. One thing that's really popular right now is also the before and after color grade. So you show your before and then you show your after afterwards. And I can just quickly show you how to do it. So you have your color graded footage here and then you split the two things into two different clips. So you make a cut in it. You go to the color grade panel, you choose the first clip, and then you just remove everything. And now let's look at the result. Okay, so let's go into the last and third technique. And I like to call this the five split or the free split. And this has become really popular on Instagram and it's actually pretty easy to do if you know the right techniques to do it. I get a lot of questions on how I do them and how I get them so perfectly lined up. And in DaVinci there is a really nice tool to actually help you do it. So let's just get into it. The first thing I want to do is I want to add five, six tracks. So we have six tracks now. And then I want to add an adjustment layer here at the top one. We're not gonna use that too much. And I want the overall clip to be eight seconds. Then on top of the adjustment layer, you go into something called a grid. And then you have to go into the open effects here. You put that on top of the adjustment layer because then it is uh, on top of all the clips. And then you go into the effect, tap over here, and then you change the row cell to either five or three, depending on how many uh, clips you have in the in the reel. And then you want to put the column cells down to zero and the major line spacing down to zero. And now you have five columns that is perfectly split and perfectly aligned. So you can just put your clips inside of them. Then we go down to all the clips and I want the video to be eight seconds. So I have this clip in the middle with, with the waterfall. And then you kind of have to align it as you want because you have to crop it in and the way you do this is you go either over to the cropping thing here and then you can choose from the top and pull it down so like this you can also just zoom in to make it even easier crop the bottom not too much 
then you're done with that. Then I like to disable the video track where it is because it is gonna be very tough for some computers to handle all five clips with the color grade. At the same time, you can also just turn off the color grade if you want to. Then you wanna go up to the transform and then move the clips to the other parts. So it's really easy. So I'm just gonna do this with all of them. we have all the five clips inside of the timeline here and then when you have all the clips in here and you're happy with it, with the stuff you have then you can delete the adjustment layer because then you can see if there's any black bars as this one down here and then what you do is just you go to the cropping tool again and you just drag it up until it there's no black parts at all and then you can turn off the color grade turn on the color grade again yeah it works now and then you can just export it, put some music on it, and then you're ready to go and upload it onto Instagram or Yeah, so that was just three very simple ways to actually utilize the horizontal footage you shoot if you shoot YouTube videos, because I've been struggling a lot with this since I am started focusing more on YouTube. I have a lot of horizontal footage that I can't really use for Instagram or TikTok, but I found these techniques very useful and sometimes I can use the footage that I shoot horizontal for YouTube for my social, other social media platforms. So I hope you enjoyed the video and could use it for something. If you did like the video and enjoy watching my videos then I would really appreciate if you would leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to my channel and comment down below if you want more videos that are kind of shorter but just go straight to the point and show something that you can learn from. So I'll see you guys.